there are some deals that have been cut that the Democratic Labour Party want to bring to fruition for the benefit of the party and their supporters that they cost the taxpayers of this country millions and millions of dollars yep. and at the center of them is a man called Christopher Singh yeah. and tonight I want to give the second stanza in the, fin in the financial vandalism that Christopher, Sin Christopher Sinclair and the thugs because it's a man called Mr. Peter Jilt. He is the enforcer. Walks around this country threatening people if they don't do this and don't do that. What can happen to them? You all need to know what's happening in your country. Vandalism has taken over. Now I have already pointed out that Chris Sinclair gave cost you less a deal over the objections of the Ministry of Finance. There's a rule that what the Ministry of Finance do for you, he has to do for the, anybody else in a similar circumstance. And he wants the nation to get it right. It's not the opposed to cost you less, but know the cost of things. But you just simply cannot give one company the right to construct, sell, and operate free of VAT and import duties. And ask everybody else in the same market to pay duty and VAT. Those people who are on that unequal playing field they go home, they have to send home their workers. And I got, it is a certain knowledge that people who are in the same situation as Costulets have already written Chris Sinclair saying, look, we want to get the same fat free, duty free concessions and things for our vehicles that you give them cost you less. And if they don't get them, they can go to court and seek the relief of the court because a minister does not have the discretion to discriminate against two people in the same position you must treat everybody equally I it's like we don't want to see cost less come but you can't that cost less come by a minister over the objection of his officers cutting a street hard deal and that's what they say but you heard about the cost to less Today they ought to talk now about car cable. And what the Democratic Labour Party is doing with these sweetheart arrangements. There are other companies in Barbados that are in the same business as car cable. But they have not been given any duty concessions to bring vehicles into Barbados. And I have nothing against Carb Cable. Uh, and, the, and the owner of Carb Cable is a very nice man. And I wish him all the best. But Carb Cable has been given the right to bring all its vehicles in this country free of duties and taxes while lying and to sell must pay duty and taxes on this. But, 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 it doesn't end there. Peter just like to send out emails. And this email that I am going to make public, because you can hear a lot of Peter Jilts in this campaign, indicates how the Democratic Labour Party wants in the closing stages of this most distressing and disgraceful term, wants to put arrangements in place through forcing the hands of people investing in Barbados to benefit their supporters and their supporters alone. And here's what Peter Tripp sent out to Oliver Haynes. He was then the managing director of Car Cable. On the 7th of September 2012. Now I, I can't use his words because this is still a Christian country. And, and I'm not to use profane language. But he says this way, he says, Oliver. I have worked to effing hard to get your cable where it is 
to be seeing our opportunities for our work for some of our people, not only in direct employment with car cable, but those opportunities for other people that our people should get a looking at. So car cable is to be from your people. He says I am particularly concerned that people put forward Richard, that is Richard, Richard C. And his PA are being set aside by Mr. Whitehead as he will not consider them. This is absolute crap. So, car, car cable is now to send you services. But you the name a party person, you can't work at car cable. He says, Oliver, the mission here is to give work to those who help Kelly first and foremost. Without the help of those persons, they would be no car cable and by extension, Oliver, no Oliver. You cannot let this boy, I hear how you refer to him, you know, this is a mature Barbadian, Magnus Whitehead. But you can't let this boy, he must be from South Africa, man. Whitehead, bring his politics to car cable. So what he's saying is, as far as he's concerned, Whitehead picking the best people to work at car cable is not trying to help the company do a good job. But to bring his politics to give Labour Party people a chance. And he said, You have people like Norman Farrer, yeah. who is capable and competent to do work, some of the uh, work in the projects. Yet, Whitehead hired diehard BLP supporters to perform those tasks. He said, Think smart, Oliver, think quick. When Chris asked me how Whitehead landed that job, with so many DLP people. It is about creating a country of the fact it can't only for the DLP who are better qualified and hard working. I gotta cut it short because I gotta come home with He says I am He says I am not a happy man this morning. I'm with the knowledge that white head is resistant to our people. And then he goes on to say our mission is to give the jobs to our people. So the Democratic Party has been Chris Sinclair, Peter James. But in your taxpayers' money in peril, because did you sell a line can go and ask for the same concessions? And if they don't get them, go to court. Uh, but they have been running down the Ministry of Finance, indulging in these bankrupt policies that have this economy on its knees. To cut deals with people. So that the deals with people can be used to fatten the calf of the Democratic Labour Party. I will have a lot more to say in this campaign about this. Following this election is to allow the DLP to put its deals in place. And I am saying to you that Deliverance Day is coming.